show that in the surveillance state in which we live, Big Brother is watching us the second we step foot out of our homes. And with more and more news coming out about trap wire and the extensive spying grid across the country, surveillance is per more pervasive now than ever before. Instead of spending money to build up communities amidst high unemployment numbers and a str struggling economy, cities are installing more and more speed trap cameras at $100,000 a pop so unassuming motorists can funnel thousands of dollars a day and tickets to the city. One of the most infuriating things about driving these days is speed trap cameras. Coming from someone from the West Coast, the roads here are really different. There are barely any lights and barely any signs telling you the speed limit. And there are speed trap cameras hitting everywhere around these parts. Worst part, though, is how much these tickets cost. I mean, who the hell has an expendable 400 bucks to throw away at the end of the month on a ticket? Well, some people just aren't down with that. Check out what's happening in Prince George's County, right around the corner from D.C. The one this one just replaced here along Racetrack Road in Bowie was destroyed by fire at the hands of a vandal. I mean, be, me being a Christian, I, I was sort of like, that's not right. But a little subconscious, you're like, I'm glad they did it. Hold up. Racetrack Road? Is that a joke? How could they expect people to really drive the speed limit on a road called Racetrack? And I love the guy's reaction to the vandalism of the cameras, too. He's like, you know, I'm all for peace and everything, but F these cameras. Seriously. But the authorities have a great solution to the cameras being vandalized, you guys. Check it out. In recent months, police say six of the county's portable speed cameras have been vandalized. That includes everything from spray painting to being shot at. And that's why Prince George's County Police Major Robert Liberati says they've taken the unprecedented step of placing a security camera on top of the new speed camera on Racetrack Road. Um, okay. So their solution to stopping vandalism for speed cameras is installing another surveillance camera to watch the camera. Genius. More cameras for the cameras. What will happen when people start destroying the cameras that watch the speed cameras? Cameras for the cameras, for the cameras, for the cameras. Where the hell does this all end? Our goal is to bring down the, the level of accidents, bring down the level of fatalities. And if someone's going to mess with one of your cameras? They're going to get locked up. Yeah, dude, lock them up. And why, you may ask, do cameras need another camera watching them? Apparently, speed cameras can't be used for security because under Maryland law, speed cameras can only take pictures of speeding. But don't worry. Commander of the automated enforcement section that covers these cameras, Robert Liberati, says that the cameras aren't a case of Big Brother, nor are they a cash grab, you guys. Well, fine. But as long as the cops are held to the same rule of law. The raid happened hours before Long Beach City officials were going to consider a ban on pot shops. The video is now on YouTube, showing a Long Beach police officer walking on Dorian Brooks, stepping on his neck, and placing his full weight on him while arresting him. So I just felt like 300 pounds on my neck. In another room, an undercover officer shown here notices a surveillance camera and takes it out with a metal rod, destroying possible evidence. Officers were unaware this video feed was being recorded at an off-site location. So, it's perfectly okay for police to stomp people out, destroy private surveillance cameras whenever they feel like it, and even make it a federal offense for filming them do anything in some states. But don't you dare mess with their cameras, watching cameras, watching cameras.